Jim, did you know that there's a, there's a long history of deliberate, organized, systemic KKK infiltration of law enforcement in the United States? Uh-uh. I know you're not surprised to hear. Yeah, I kind of set you up to not make yourself sound like a fool on that one. But if you had any specific awareness of that? Uh, I don't know any specifics. I always assumed it. Actually. Okay, so this is sort of vague. Yeah, that's right. going to happen. Well, you look into it, it's scary. There's there's a lot there, like more than you would think. And I, I was going back. Someone, uh, actually our friend Angela, uh, was was going back and forth with me on Twitter about this when I was, you know, our, may, may generally making the case to listen to Black Lives Matter, right? Like, yeah, it's not, and, and she said that's not a current thing. Because I, the, 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 at the time, I, I, and I didn't get too in depth into this. <clears throat> I just, you know, I, I did a quick Google search and I found that there was something from like five, ten years ago of a specifically racist gang getting exposed and, and caught and blah, 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 blah. But now we have the headline about it happening right now from yahoo.com by the LA Times. Deputies accused of being in secret societies cost L.A. County taxpayers $55 million, records show. And I'm like, this is how it's coming out? First saw the story, there's got to be a... And I'm like, I, 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 I was kind of hoping, you know, in terms of like looking for uh, confirmation of my biases, there's got to be something about racism in this. There's got to be a, a real and and for a while reading this, I was I didn't see it. And I think they kind of buried the lead here. It's not just like so secret societies. Anyway, I'll read the story. You'll see. It's going to take me a while to get to the race ra racist gang part. Los Angeles County has paid out roughly fifty five million dollars in settlements in cases in which sheriff's deputies have been alleged to belong to a secret society. Records obtained by the LA Times show illuminating. The entrenched nature of a subculture that has plagued the sheriff's department for years. The figure comes from a list that includes payouts and dozens of lawsuits and claims involving deputies associated with tattooed groups accused of glorifying an aggressive style of policing. The report prepared by LA County attorneys lists nearly 60 cases, some of them still pending, and names eight specific cliques. The county has paid out nearly $21 million in cases beginning in the last 10 years alone, according to the document. The high cost underscores how these deputy groups, which with monikers such as the Vikings, Regulators, 3000 Boys, and the Banditos, really, really, you can't get more creative than that? Pathetic. Have operated out of several sheriff's department stations and jails for decades, exhibiting what critics have long alleged are the violent, intimidating tactics, similar in some ways to criminal street gangs. The cases involved incidents, incidents that date to 1990. Still nothing, right? Still no racism. Over the years, a succession of elected officials, elected sheriffs, excuse me, has failed to bring the subgroups under control despite multiple internal investigations and more recently a probe by the FBI. Many civil liberties advocates and county watchdogs have accused the sheriff's department of turning a blind eye. Jonathan Sweeney, John Sweeney, an attorney who has represented families of people killed by deputies, said, I think it's a willful failure. For some reason, they pride themselves, the sheriff's department, on having these violent clicks, I guess, to show the public who's the boss. But, you know, what it does, it just fosters a horrible relationship between the community that these sheriffs serve. The Board of Supervisors requested the list of payouts last year after the Times reported that members of the Banditos, who operate out of the East L.A. station, were accused of assaulting other deputies during an off-duty party in 2018. One deputy was knocked unconscious. Yeah, it's not really that big of a, a deal until one of the king's men is harmed. Sheriff Alex Villanueva has said that he put measures in place in February that prohibit deputies from participating in cliques. Quote, the fact that I've had to address these issues, which have been festering since 1990, is an illustration of the failure of past sheriffs from addressing the issue head on. Uh, he said in a statement, adding that he transferred leadership personnel from at least one station to combat the click problem and was holding employees accountable if they failed to uphold the new policy. Inspector General Max Huntsman said last week that he was aware of no implementation whatsoever of Villanueva's new measures. 
and that his office couldn't effectively investigate the secret society's quote because of the obstruction of the sheriff's department. Hudson said the criminal investigation of the off-duty banditos beating amounted to a cover-up, noting that more than 20 deputies present during the incident were not required to give statements. Mm -hmm. Still going. Here we go. Lieutenant John Satterfield said investigators conducted more than 70 interviews as part of an administrative investigation of the banditos claims and were sharing information from reviews under the new click policy with the FBI. Quote, the IG continues to further this distorted narrative that his office has not provided documents or information in order to investigate or provide oversight, adding that in the last 13 months, the oversight office has had access to more than 500 documents. Uh, despite, quote, despite misleading statements, the sheriff continues to provide him with access and continues to welcome oversight. <sighs> you have to slog through all of this bullshit to get to the really offensive part of the story. Like, we haven't even gotten there yet. This is so bad. So, so bad. $55 million just in payouts. I mean, how much of, that's a, of what's getting caught? What does it cost taxpayers of LA to cover up the evil from this that has come to the surface where we can look just below the surface and see that there is not real, no, no real oversight? Defenders of the deputy clicks say they represent hard work and boost morale. By fostering camaraderie. I don't think that's what we're talking about here. Sean Kennedy, a member of the Civilian Oversight Commission. Yeah, police camaraderie goes up and then we have to pay out $55 million. Mm, no. Sean Kennedy, a member of the Civilian Oversight Commission and professor at Loyola Law School, said last week that he and his students had identified at least 17 gangs, some of them historical, in the department. We are literally not exaggerating. We are not being metaphorical we, when we say that police are gangs and I say that in a metaphorical sense as well that the whole thing as a uh, an umbrella gang of government of, of law enforcement in the United States protects the subsidiary gangs that you really can't deny are fucking gangs the largest payout on the list, $10.1 million, went to Francisco Carrillo Jr., who spent 20 years behind bars before having a murder conviction overturned in 2011. Carrillo, who was 16 at the time of the 1991 fatal drive-by shooting, maintained his innocence through two trials and in prison. He sued later, claiming that deputies improperly influenced witnesses to pick his picture from a photo lineup and that deputies involved in the case were members of the Linwood Vikings, a white supremacist gang within the sheriff's department. I don't know what else to say. That there's the punchline. There it is. I, did, I had to get all the way that far in the story. I mean, I my eyes are watering out of like anger and wanting to cry at the same time. That's what the, it, really there is a oh, and I'm, I'm not. I don't throw around the term racism. Uh, you know. Because it's assuming someone's internal state. But when you self-identify as racist and then we see you infiltrate police departments and use that color of law, that qualified immunity to just suppress people who you don't like of a different color, that's about the height of evil in the world today. So, I, I mean, I, I, got, I we might as well, like, at least I don't want to even finish the story because that was it. There's there's another few paragraphs here, but at least this this quote is worth sharing from Ron Kay, an attorney who represented Creo. This has been a cancer of the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department for decades. The only reason that this type of illegal activity and lawlessness under the color of law can survive is if the department and its administration look the other way. And they are. You know, where's this going? This is poor people, people of color. Uh, Compton Mayor Aja Brown, Aja Brown called on State Attorney Xavier Becerra and the U.S. Justice Department to investigate whether Compton deputies had engaged in misconduct, excessive force, discriminatory policing, and improper stop searches or arrests. The city has a $22 million contract with the Sheriff's Department for patrols and other law enforcement services. What does that mean? The people of, of Compton 
are forced to pay the LA County Sheriff's Department, which hires members of racist gangs, which do racist enforcement. Again, it's 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 a punchline that needs no follow up. Like, what can you say after just recognizing the fundamental evil of what this is? You wonder why people don't trust the police. Uh, so, um, as uh, as Brown said, the uh, mayor of Compton in a statement, we demand the same treatment that deputies provide to the residents of Malibu. Rancho Palos Verdes and other affluent communities. And according to the size of our contract with the Sheriff's Department, we have 22 million reasons to expect it. Well, sadly, I, as, as if it, 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 Mayor Brown, if you are doing a genuine job attempting to represent the people of Compton, good luck. But you're really ignoring the larger issue here that the entire system of law enforcement in this country is set up to serve the main purpose of government. The rich get richer, the poor get poor. You look at the origins of the police force in this country, Pinkertons and runaway slave catchers to protect property. And back then people were property. And really now under this system, the ends, the goals are the same. The means of violent suppression are the same. Maybe it's not as vicious overall as it used to be, but it is just as wrong. 